Hey guys, it's Otter here. Before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it not only helps me, but it makes sure you guys always stay updated on the latest content that drops. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about an upcoming game that's hopefully set to have a release date unveiled at this year's E3. For those who may not know what E3 is, otherwise known as the Electronic Entertainment Expo, is a yearly event in which the largest game publishers and developers from around the world come to announce or even show off their new video games to the public. The big main three you might already know, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, have always been the primary attractions. But as of late, everyone's been pulling out, leaving only Microsoft out of the big three companies. And with the other guys pulling out, Microsoft is in the greatest position to take the spotlight in this upcoming generation of hardware and video games. That's even more so for the inclusion of third-party titles, which leads me into a reason why I'm going to even watch the E3 this year, and that's for Cyberpunk 2077. First announced in 2013 and being developed from the guys behind Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk 2077 is a story-driven, open-world RPG set in the dystopian future of Night City, California. You take the role of the main character, V, choosing from a plethora of options in which to craft the character into your own. There is the typical RPG trope of choosing gender, looks, and other basic functions. But in the world of cyberpunk, body modifications come into play that not only affect the look of your character, but the gameplay as well. Better stats or even new ways of tackling your enemies head on. Really, there isn't much of an article or an overview video that could do it justice. So I highly recommend you full watch the full gameplay yourself. I'll be sure to drop it in the description box below. And in a market that's been flooded by first person shooters and pay to win loot boxes, this game is a much needed breath of fresh air. Because honestly, I tried to get back into Call of Duty and for the sake of these videos, but it was something the good lord did not intend to happen, which kind of explains the reason for these <laughs> last minute videos dropping. But if you're a gamer, or you know someone who's a gamer, or even think about getting into gaming yourself, is there anything you're looking forward to this year? Possibly with Oculus or any of the major consoles? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Until then, Otter out.